Now, counting is underway after the people of Chad voted in a presidential election that is set to end three years of military rule. The vote will decide whether to extend three decades of power for the Debi family in a country that is crucial to the fight against jihadism across the northern Sahel Desert region of North Africa. Well, let's have the latest then from a reporter in the capital for us, Claire Pakalang. Voting has now ended in this presidential election in Chad. It saw 10 candidates go up against each other, including the current interim president, Mohamed Idris Deby Itno, or known as Midi here after his initials. He was the favourite, alongside his prime minister and political rival, Sukse Mazra. Now, we've just been speaking to the head of the National Election Agency in the building right behind me, and he said to us that he has now two weeks to announce the results. Now, the results could come at any point within that two-week period, but he was very clear that no candidate should announce their victory before the agency has announced its results. Now, this presidential election is, of course, coming after Chad has been in a three-year transition period. The late president, Idris Deby, he was killed on the battlefield visiting troops three years ago, and that led the army to step in this presidential election, then, is the next step as Chad moves from military rule back into civilian rule. Claire Packland there, our correspondent, talking to us there from the uh, Chadian capital.